Hi friends, it's Amy and I'm your sewing teacher. And I'm here this week to show you how I do some visible mending on some work jeans for my daughter's boyfriend. If this is the kind of content that you like, please give this a thumbs up. If you haven't been to my channel before, please check out all of our other videos. There are so many things on beginner sewing, but also some tips and tricks and hacks on dollar store buys so that you can sew on a budget. So we have two pairs of jeans here that my daughter's boyfriend has brought asking me to fix. Now, he doesn't work in a shop that um, has a dress code. They're allowed to work, they're allowed to wear any clothing as long as it won't catch on something that when they're working. Now, he works in a steel manufacturing shop, so it's important that um, they be nice and smooth. Now, I'm looking at these pants and they're extremely thin all the way up, this pair especially, all the way up the thigh. So what I'm going to do and what I normally do is I normally take old jeans and I put them on the inside of the pant and then I sew over the outside of the pant and that's how I make this work. Now I'm going to use double-sided tape in order to tape this to the inside of the pant. And that's the first step. The most important thing to do is to make sure that you're going to have this flat and because it's so far down the leg that's a little bit harder to do so what I like to do is I like to take off the tray off my machine that gives me a little extra space here where I can sew without an extension table And then it gives me some space to work the pant down to the area that is kind of the worst off. Now we have a thinner part up here at the top, and I'm going to um, I'm going to do some visible mending around here, and I'm going to do some hatching. So I'm going to go one way, and then I'm going to go the other way. And that's just to reinforce. Now remember, there is a piece of denim underneath here, and this will reinforce and prevent this part of the pant from tearing anytime soon. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go forward and backward about two inches. And every time I do it, I make like a zigzag and I'm just pulling a little bit back and forth and I pull the pant a little bit each time and I go in one direction and then I'm going to fill in and go back the way I came.
So once I have that finished, I'm going to trim my threads. And I just want to show you what that, that looks like. So you can see that this has been reinforced in one direction. Now I'm going to find a way to come back and either go on a slight angle through here so that it's hatched or so that it's straight up and down. At this point, it doesn't matter because all I'm doing is reinforcing this. And now I'm going to head back the original direction, making sure that there's lots of reinforcement. Give that a little snip, get rid of those threads. And again, now you can see the fully hatched and reinforced area. Because I've used a matching thread, it actually doesn't look too bad. And once it's on again, these are work pants. So visible mending is fine. And we're just making sure that we're reinforcing it well enough that he can wear these for a little while longer. So now I'm going to go back and I'm going to go down further down the leg. Now this is quite a bit of material here in my machine. So I'm going to turn this around and I'm going to go up through the foot of the, of the. And again, you want to make sure that the, that jean material underneath is flat. turn the pant, I'm going to do the diagonal hatching so that we can really make sure that this is re reinforced well. Now, a good thing to do is to do it in sections um, when you get to a large area like this so that you don't um, overwhelm yourself and get kind of out of control. You do want this to look purposeful. You do want it to look straight. You don't want to look like you've been sewing all over the world. <laughs>
So we had three thin areas. We had a tear that was just starting here. We had a full across the knee here, and then we had a little tear here. So what we've done is we've hatched this one and we've hatched this one. Now, because this one um, was in an awkward placing in the leg, I had to do half and then the other half in order to get the hatch to happen. And like I said, once these are worn a few times at work, they're going to soften the look of the, um, of the threads and you're gonna see that these are reinforced very well and will last a, a, quite a while longer. And that is how you do a visible machine mending. Thanks for joining me today. This is definitely part of the sewing journey. Sometimes it's my kids, sometimes it's my students, sometimes it's my sewing journey, but it's always your sewing journey. Thanks for joining me this week. If this is the kind of content that you enjoy, please give me a thumbs up below. And if you haven't already subscribed, just press that subscribe button, the bell beside it will notify you on Sundays when a new video goes up. Thanks so much. We'll see you next week.